Hey YouTube, this is going to be my short video trying to figure out who could be the flayed burning corpse in the season 6 trailer. I'm going to talk about the possible list of candidates, which are based on fans speculation. So here we go. The first one is Ruse Bolton. They say Ramsey killed his father, Ruse, and stepmother to make his claim stronger on Winterfell, and it eliminated all his competitors. One day I'll be Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. You will be my lady, and Wardeness. But isn't your stepmother pregnant? What of it? What happens if she has a boy? Then I'll have a baby brother. But he'll be the heir. I'm Lord Bolton's eldest son. But you're a bastard. A trueborn will always have the stronger claim. I've been naturalized by a royal decree from... Tom and Baratheon? Another bastard. If this is really true, then I think Ramsay must be a real fool. With the entire North knocking on his doorstep for war, killing Ruse is a big disadvantage for him. Ramsay may be a good fighter, but Ruse is an expert battle commander, and it is totally possible that he knows about the strengths and weaknesses of the other Northern houses, which is much needed to defeat them. So he needs his war tactics to fight against the northern armies. He's got no more than 6,000 men. More than half of those are mounted, however. And how high do Stannis' horses jump? Our walls have been fully repaired. The gates have been reinforced. We have enough food for six months. We are more prepared for a siege than they could ever be. All we have to do is wait for them to freeze, starve, and mutiny. You disagree. Stannis isn't from the north. You are, father. I think you're missing an opportunity to show the people of the north how House Bolton treats southern invaders. And what do you recommend? That we not sit and wait for Stannis to decide what sort of fight this is going to be. That we hit first and hit hard and leave a feast for the crows. A smart commander does not abandon a defensive advantage. As long as we stay behind these walls, they can't touch us. Not to mention that the snow is so deep we couldn't get an army through to engage them even if we wanted to. If Ruse Bolton is really dead, then there is a question whether the soldiers will follow Ramsay in battle. Especially if the soldiers and generals are loyal to Ruse Bolton. Yeah, Ramsay was legitimized by the royal decree, but he is not a true Bolton. Besides, who will follow this psychopath into war? So I don't think it's Ruse Bolton. The second possible candidate could be some random guy sent by the northern armies to spy on the Boltons. And the final and most possible candidate is Stannis. I firmly believe it could be him. Remember what Stannis did to his enemies. He burned them alive for the Lord of Light. We've never seen the Boltons burn anyone like this. They only flay people. So my guess is the Boltons are mocking Stannis by burning his flayed corpse attached to their sigil. And this is the final warning for the Northern Lords so they can forfeit the war against them. They are trying to tell the Northern Lords that they will meet the same fate as Stannis if they fight against them in battle. So I'm positive the flayed burning corpse is Stannis. If you think it could be someone else, please post them in the comments below with a spoiler tag. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe.